Welcome to the site of the 2022 United States Open. I'm Jeff Hall, Managing Director, Rules and Open Championships for the USGA. Hi, I'm Brendan Walsh, the Director of Golf at the Country Club, one of the five founding members of the USGA. The Country Club will be hosting the US Open for the fourth time next year. But it's the first time since 1988 when Curtis Strange defeated Nick Faldo in a playoff. The club was originated in 1882. It's more of a social club with equestrian activities. It was a racetrack that wrapped around the first and 18th holes as we see it today. The club's 18 holes were designed by Willie Campbell in the late 1890s. Gil Hansen and his partner Jim Wagner did a restoration in recent years. With the U.S. Open returning to the country club for the first time in 34 years, many of you may not be familiar with the golf course. Here are a few things you need to know. The golf course will play just over 7,200 yards to a par of 70. The country club has 27 holes and our championship routing will consist of 15 holes from the main course and three from the Primrose Nine. On each nine, there will be one par five, two par threes, and six par fours. So Brandon, we're here at the third hole, just one of the great holes here at the Country Club, the classic architecture. And, and you know, you think back to the time they found this piece of land and there were no caterpillar tractors. You had to fit the hole into the land. And that's a great example of it here at three. Absolutely, and it gives the players off the tee a couple different options, Jeff. You know, you're going to see the person who wants to lay to the top of the hill right here. Or somebody's going to be very aggressive, try to take it down in between this very narrow hollow here. Second shot's going to be very challenging for them because they have to factor in how firm it's going to be up front, land the ball short of the green, go for the runoff. They try to get too aggressive with the back flag. That green gets very firm back there, and that ball could end up into the penalty area. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah, how is the modern player going to attack classic architecture? Third hole at the Country Club will be a great example. Brandon, we're here at the 11th hole, and I am so excited to be here talking about this hole. Making a at least modern history U.S. Open debut, but it's just not often we get to add a 130-yard par three into the U.S. Open mix. It's gonna be really exciting. Pretty special. Back here for the first time since 1913. We met played this as the 10th hole back then. And to see what Gil's been able to do to bring the green complex back to its original landform is fantastic. You'll see the green a lot closer to the bunker and then the infinity look in the back, Jeff. It's gonna be really exciting with that hole location. Being in the back part of the green, the player's getting very confident going for that green. It can end up in the penalty area pretty quickly. Well, the, the variety that's available here, too. Back tee, back hole location, 142 yards. Front of this tee, front hole location, 105 yards. Do that on successive days. It can be up to 35, maybe even 40 yards of difference. I think that'll be really interesting to see how the players adapt to that change from day to day. Absolutely, it's gonna be great to watch. So Brennan, here we are, 14th hole. This hole played as a par four in 1988, but we'll play as a par five next June. It'll be the longest hole in the golf course, 619 yards. And if you're gonna be successful here, you better drive the golf ball in the fairway. Ultimately, the player wants to have a chance to be able to see the green with their third shot, and they need to get it up on that plateau. Absolutely, Jeff. This is gonna be 525 yards to get to that plateau, and the player doesn't drive it in the fairway, your third shot is going to be from 150 plus yards to a blind third shot onto the screen. If you can get it up to that plateau. Now once we're here, got about anywhere from 90 to 50 yards into the green, two-tiered green, 2013 U.S. Samner. The majority of the players played it this way. Three-shot hole, had great birdie opportunities. We did have two players that got on the green in two, which was unbelievable to see, and had some eagle putts. So it's going to be a fun hole to watch, see what happens down the stretch. Well, clearly, all sets up with a tee shot in the fairway. Get yourself up here, an opportunity to make a birdie on one of the closing holes of the U.S. Open. Jeff, 
1913, Francis we met, beat Ted Ray and Harry Varden in a playoff here. 63, we had a playoff, Juros Burroughs beat Jackie Cupid and Arna Palmer. 88, we had a playoff, Curtis Strange beat Nick Faldo. Well, there's no way to predict what the future holds when we come back in June, but one thing for certain, the country club tests all facets of a player's game. And whoever's lucky enough to put their hands on this trophy in June will have meet that test.